Today's trip tip will cover exactly how much money you are owed as well as how to get reimbursed by the airline when your luggage is delayed. If you get off a flight and your suitcase is not in the baggage claim area, it is important to let the airline know as soon as possible. You can file a claim for your delayed luggage through a claims form on the airline's website or by contacting their customer service by phone, chat, email, or even in person at the airline's customer service desk at the airport. Airlines are responsible to reimburse passengers for any purchases that are made, any reasonable and necessary purchases, while their bag is delayed. The length of the delay may be one hour or up to a total of 14 days, at which point the bag is usually considered to be lost. As per the Department of Transportation, the maximum amount that an airline has to reimburse for purchases made by the passenger while their luggage is delayed is $3,800. On flights outside of the United States, the maximum amount is as low as $1,700. An airline could of course agree to reimburse you for more than this amount, but they do not have to. Essential items that are required to be reimbursed by the airline if a passenger needs to buy them while they are waiting for a delayed bag could be anything from a toothbrush to a new pair of shoes or even a new swimsuit. Just be sure to keep receipts for anything that you buy and be able to answer why these items were necessary if you were ever asked to do so. The airline is also not allowed to set an arbitrary daily amount for how much you can expense. For example, an airline cannot have a policy that states that they will only reimburse a passenger up to $50 per day that their bag is delayed. Whether your delay is one hour or six days, you still have up to that limit within the United States of $3,800. So if your bag is delayed, but you have a formal event to attend that evening and your fancy dress is packed away in that delayed bag, you do have the option to go shopping, buy a new dress, and have that expense reimbursed. Millions of bags are delayed each year, and if you do end up in a situation with a delayed bag, make the most of your allowance and treat yourself within reason. And if you are unhappy with the way that your delayed baggage situation is being handled and it's not being resolved by the agent at the airport or over their customer service line, try stating your concerns publicly on the airline's social media. Tweeting your troubles tends to get attention, including that of the airline. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you back here for more travel tips next week. Bye.